right. So to make this knife, knife block on the right hand side, we're going to open up a new part. And I'm going to start with the base. I'll build the base first, then I'll add the next big block here, and then I'll add the next big block here. If you notice that from front to back, it's symmetrical. So I'm going to base this off the central line. I'm going to extrude, what we call extrude, in both directions, towards the front and towards the back. So to start off, I'm going to use my top plane. I'm going to create a sketch. You can use center rectangle or corner rectangle. It doesn't really matter. Just create a random um, rectangular shape. I'm going to smart dimension it now to be 100 by 140. And I'm going to use this new tool here called a sketch fillet. So I can change or the fillet is to round the corners and I want this corner rounded and this corner rounded. And if you notice that rounding is too small so I can increase that to a 50 millimeter round. If it let me, it should do. Okay, not going to let me so I have to do it a different way. So I'm going to extrude that by 15 millimeters. Like then 15 hit enter and I have a 15 millimeter rectangle okay now I'm going to take a button here called sketch or feature fillet I'm going to change that to a 50 millimeter fillet I'm going to hit it on the front two edges you'll notice now that will that's my preview window that will give me that rounding up the base that I'm looking for so now on this base Okay, I'm just going to sketch onto that surface. No, actually that's wrong. I'm going to sketch on the front plane, which is running down the middle. Okay, so it's important that when you're drawing this sketch here, the base sketch, that the front plane runs down the middle of that. That's why I use center rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to now, on the front plane, draw a sketch. So hit the front plane, hit the sketch tool, sketch button. It brings me into a 90 degree view. And I'm now going to use the line tool, okay? So I'm going to start from this corner point and go straight up. I'm going to come down at an angle, random angle, doesn't matter. Come down at an angle there like that, again random, and finish off my closed shape. So it's a four-sided figure, I have four shapes done. And you'll notice mine is not uh, shaded in. If you want it shaded in, there's a little button you can press called Shaded Sketch Contours, and it shows you that you've got a closed shape can be handy sometimes when you're drawing. So I'm finished with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this and dimension it according to the drawing on the right hand side. So we go smart dimension. The overall height of this is 120. <coughs> Type it in, hit enter. From here to here horizontally is 65. Vertically it's 30. So I click that point and that point. Come out horizontally. Yeah, tap or click and type in 30 and then at the bottom point here is 40 millimeters so I'm going to smart dimension to make this 40 millimeters and you notice my shape has turned black fully dimensioned all fully done can't do anything more okay I'm going to get a little 3d view of it here and then I'm going to go to features extruded boss or base you should see this in 3d for me so now, the thickness of that from the front to the back is 80 millimeters. Go to the 80 millimeter, type it in, but you'll notice it's coming forward too much. Okay, I want it equidistant to the front and to the back. So I change that to mid plane, which means where I drew it is gonna be a middle in the middle of the object. So I can go front and back by 80 millimeters. Confirmed, that's that first block done, okay. Then I'm going to do this other block here in the same um, same idea. So front plane, sketch tab, sketch button, use the line to. And I'm going to draw from this corner point up. Again, I don't know what the measurement is yet. I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to draw my random shape and get it roughly to where I need it. And get a four-sided figure so that I've closed off and it's shaded in that area. <coughs> Now I'm going to insert the actual dimensions that are required. So I go to smart dimension between that point and that point in a horizontal measurement is 20 millimeters. This vertical line is a 40 millimeter measurement. So I click on that, move it out, type in 40. 
and then in a horizontal measurement from there to there is 50 millimeters so I click that line move my dimension out of the way click again type in 50 hit enter the whole shape has turned black I cannot tell it anymore hit my green tick and then go to the features tab and extrude boss or base and the exact same thing that we're going to do we're going to go mid plane and this time the thickness from front to back is 50 so I'll reduce that down to 50 confirm your knife block is complete the only thing I need to change is the color so I'll go to my appearances I want it to be plastic high gloss drop any random color onto it so yellow is a million miles away from pink I want it on the body or the full part either of those two work it doesn't really matter and then I want to change it to pink so I will right click edit my feature change the yellow and choose pink over here in this corner and probably a little bit lighter than that maybe that's probably better confirm the tick hit F on the keyboard spacebar get your view and that's your knife block complete okay